In the last three centuries, 50% of the forests and wetlands on Earth have disappeared. Based on today's science, in 15 or 20 years, not all that long from now, 70% of natural land-based habitat will have disappeared. Habitat loss, bleeding nature. If you cut yourself and bleed a little, your body will make minor adjustments to compensate, but the changes in your vital signs will be nearly imperceptible. If, however, the bleeding is heavy and prolonged, your body functions will become compromised. Blood pressure will drop, you may feel nauseous, and your heartbeat will become irregular. Your body will start to withhold blood from your gut and your skin, your vision will become blurry, and you may faint. If you bleed long enough, you will experience shock. Your heart and lung function will become severely limited, cells will die, and tissues will become damaged. Your reflexes will stop working. Without sufficient blood flow in your body, life-sustaining biological functions are lost. A great truth about nature is that patterns are represented at many scales. Blood flow is not entirely different from energy and nutrient cycles. Life itself is essentially fluid. Nature and all the life within it depends on maintaining the function and flow of ecosystem processes. Let me put it this way. Habitat, the structure that houses what we call nature, is extremely important for the flow of life. Removing habitat interrupts ecosystem function. It compromises the, the regulation of atmospheric gas and the normal flow of water. Missing habitat is a barrier to the movement of pollen, seed, and individual animals. Continued habitat loss can affect weather patterns and compromise the connectivity of wilderness. Lost connectivity restricts gene flow, pollination, and seed dispersal are limited. Animal movement and migration become challenged. Populations disappear. Wilderness communities that co-evolved over millennia become unbalanced and vulnerable to invasions. When habitat loss is great enough, the accumulation of effects becomes global. Climate drifts astray. Species disappear at unprecedented rates. Energy flow from sun to plant to plankton to animal to microbial decomposers is jeopardized, limiting nutrient cycling and soil formation. When habitat is destroyed, nature stops working. In the last three centuries, 50% of the forests and wetlands on Earth have disappeared. Based on today's science, in 15 or 20 years, not all that long from now, 70% of natural land-based habitat will have disappeared. If you lose more than 40% of your blood, you will almost certainly die. We do not know the Earth's breaking point the maximum habitat loss it can endure while continuing to sustain life. What we do know is that we only have one opportunity to avoid bleeding out. One world, one humanity, one chance. Conservation matters.